welcome back to my channel. My name is Sade. If you are new here, today I'm going to be sharing what I got for Christmas slash my birthday because it's like the week after Christmas and as well as what I gave to my family and friends over the holiday season. So if that's something you want to see, which according to my Instagram poll, I know that you all do, just keep watching. First things first, I am wearing something that I gifted to myself, which is this adorable pajama set and I will include some b-roll of it. It's just the um, silk and I say silk because it's actually 100% polyester, but it feels and looks really nice and I thought it was super pretty. So I bought this from Kohl's as I was shopping for some of my other gifts <laughs> for other people. I'm wearing that tonight and as well as it's sort of a tradition. I believe I've done this video at least once um, and it was one of the first videos that I filmed for YouTube so it's definitely a throwback if you guys want to go watch something that is probably probably embarrassing to me <laughs> to re-watch but I filmed that in a pajama set and so when I thought about what I wanted to wear filming this video I'm like I think every year I'll either do it in a pajama set that I got for myself around the holiday season or one that my mom buys me so my mom always buys my sister and I every year new Christmas pajamas and I usually wear them the next day or on my birthday or New Year's um, if I'm staying home. Well, this year, of course, we stayed home. So, um, yeah. So if you guys like this, I will have this along with everything. Well, hopefully everything that I got for Christmas and my birthday linked on my Like to Know It page. It's always um, in the description box of my YouTube videos. I will have some links there, but if I can't list everything, be sure to go and check out my Like to Know It page. It's an amazing app on your phone, but you can also just go to liketoknowit.com and find my profile, which is Shade on the Run. And you can literally shop right within the app. It's not like your typical Instagram or social media platform. It's literally there for you to find products that I love and have tried and you know or maybe i've curated something that is going to inspire you to you know maybe organize your bedroom or whatever but um all of my christmas gifts and birthday gifts will be linked there and i think that is all so jumping right in um i'm gonna start with clothes and the first thing i'm going to share with you all are these j crew tortoise earrings i forgot that i wanted a pair of these and my mom remembered so she got me a pair of these hoops i think they're super classy and even if they're not like this style was super popular i want to say 2019 but i would still wear these today and i love the style of them because they're just that classic hoop so especially with how my hair is styled tonight um i could totally wear my hair up like this with these adorable earrings so let's stick to what mom got me because honestly she got me like a complete outfit um and that's something that is great for like to know it too is that there are outfit ideas where you'll see a whole outfit from head to toe and that's a one of the reasons why i love that app is because i get an outfit idea like right away just in one photo typically everything is from the same store so when i click on the link it checks me out it can add everything to one shopping cart and boom, you're done. Um, and also throughout the year, there are exclusive sales within the app. So in addition to whatever sale promotion is going on, say at Abercrombie or Gap or Lululemon, like whatever, there are additional sales if you are a like to know it user. So check out the app. It's totally free. Or like I said, you can go to the website. My username is a shoddy on the run. And it's like I said, it's not like your typical social media profile. We're not there for likes and comments. It's just so you guys can get the inspiration and find what you need. And if you're not shopping, you can save it to folders and have it nice and organized. So I personally um, am thinking about, you know, what I may want to gift 
uh, this year in 2021. So, you know, think of these, some of these items and save it to, you know, a future Christmas shopping list, a birthday shopping list, and you'll have those links ready to go when you are ready to make those purchases. So shameless plug. <laughs> um, but the next thing that my mom got me were these J. Crew weekend high rise leggings. So seven eighth. I don't know if that's an inch. So that must mean that they hit you like right at the ankle. But I will try to do some uh, try on if not for this video, my uh, next video or something like that. But um, she swears by these and she has I think two or three pair and they feel really nice so these are for fashion um so not for working out and she loves them she says they're super high-waisted very flattering and just a nice basic to have in your wardrobe and you know let's just i hate to keep bringing it up but i mean last year when it comes to like gift giving it's like do you give someone clothes or whatever but Mom really did a good job with just getting me something that I could wear these in the house or to run errands. I can dress them up, dress them down. And it was practical for the time that we are living in right now. So thank you, Mom. I really appreciate these. So she got me those pants, the earrings from J. Crew, as well as, okay, so the next piece is the big shirt from The Gap. She got me a size medium and it looks very oversized so i would probably get two to true to size or maybe even size down um and this is a beautiful like i can't even fit it all on the camera but this is just the classic white button down shirt that's oversized would be paired great with those leggings so the leggings came from j crew this is from the gap and i think this is beautiful i just did a huge closet clean out like when i talk about I dumped my entire wardrobe because I really just wanted to one practice minimalism and two I want to bring in new things and I feel like if I want to bring in the new I have to get rid of the old so I I vlogged a little bit of that in my New Year's Eve um, celebration vlog so if you missed that go check that out that's a super cute video and um yeah i started sex in the city on hbo from episode one that was very fun and interesting to watch now as an adult i probably shouldn't have been watching that in high school but anyway <laughs> getting on topic but i cleaned out my entire closet so that is actually the only white shirt that i have like when i tell you i have the bare minimum in there and i love it it every time i walk in it's like i can see what i have and these are the things that I'm going to live and wear and I just know I'm going to get the most out of the items in my closet that I really love so that's the only white shirt. This is my currently my only cardigan and I haven't had a cardigan in a long time but thanks mom. <laughs> um, this is a beautiful merino 100% merino wool cardigan from Banana Republic and while these are, you know, banana, J. Crew, you know, full price, these things can be, I think she left the tag on here. This was $79.50, so 80 bucks for this cardigan. And she gets, she finds the best sale. So hopefully when I link these, either I can find something similar, but I believe she was able to get this like 50 or more percent off. I think she got this for like $25. Mom is a great shopper. She should be a personal shopper because she finds the best deals on things that are typically more expensive. So thank you, mom. That's what she got me. So can you picture that? The leggings, the white shirt. I probably wouldn't put the cardigan on because that's a smaller, it's more fitted. So I would maybe throw that over your shoulder and then have your hair up and these cute little um, earrings like, okay girl, <laughs> you gotta look. And I should probably throw on this bag, this beautiful DKNY leather backpack. And I got this from AJ's mom. Like how sweet was she? When I saw this, my jaw dropped. I was like, this is a beautiful bag. Just classic black leather. It feels so buttery soft. Um, I love the straps. It has so many compartments. And you guys know I wear 
my Louis crossbody every single day. Like that is my everyday bag. And maybe I should do a story on that. Let me know in the comments if you want to hear the story on how I got my Louis Vuitton and why I wear it as much as I do and why I love that I got that bag and not like the never for something else. So I have I like that's my everyday that's my go-to bag yes it's a designer bag it, that doesn't really factor into it but it really does elevate my pieces um when I wear that bag like I can just wear you know a basic old navy sweatsuit and throw on my little bag and a cute coat and I just feel like I elevated my um what do you call it lower end not lower end but you know more practical affordable looks so i'm surprised that i've i haven't found a bag that i love more than that bag okay so that's why i haven't purchased another handbag that is like the only i think other than i have a black tote that from h&m from years ago that i never got rid of but other than that i only have those two purses so this it's been a long time since i've had a new purse and this one is beautiful it has this zipper here but it allows you to get down to the bottom of the entire bag as well as but if you don't want to do that you have this compartment do i have one? here which is it's all one piece so i think maybe this part was just for the aesthetics because i don't think you can it's not like this part is its own little clutch or something but it's key and then there is um compartments i think two one zipper and then one that's open so i gotta take some of the tissue more of the tissue off but and i think there's a thing for your keys or a wallet so this is oh there's one here too so that's like separated for like maybe your cell phone or something but adorable bag classic bag and it would look great with that outfit i did wear it for my birthday um with that leopard if you saw my instagram post i wore this leopard denim dress and that bag and my combat boots and i felt super super cute so the next thing that aj's mom got me was something that i already owned but was actually in my i wasn't even gonna donate this because the lettering had completely faded it wasn't donatable it was like throw that in the recycling <laughs> and it is this adidas sweatshirt you guys know i think you guys know i wear adidas all the time and i own this exact very <laughs> this very sweatshirt and it just was completely like i wore it to death it was like my uniform and so she had no idea but she had literally got me this i'm like mom kind of knows my style that's so funny so i have a brand new one of these and um yeah i love it this is me even with the book bag good to go so i love that kind of stuff and then aj got me these amazing sweatpants and i've never heard of this brand what are they called tillies and i have to ask him what mall was it brookfield or southridge i can't remember i'll have to ask him what mall it was and these you guys they look very long but i'm five foot five and they fit like perfectly they're super high-waisted which i love and my like they hit me at the ankle but like i can kind of scrunch them up a little bit but they don't look like they're too big or like you know too long so i wonder how a tall person would feel in these but i love the length of them and they're super soft they kind of have that soft um inside fuzzy inside and rsq so tilly's is the name of the store but the brand is rsq so okay um so hopefully i can insert something of me trying these on but i've worn he got me this color and he got me this blue color i've worn the blue ones and when i put them on i was like i need these in every color they're great basic to have especially during these times of being more at home and everyone's like wearing more loungewear but if you want it you know to be cute i would definitely recommend these he did a great job picking those out and with aj and i we were i was like not do anything too expensive because we're still like furnishing this place and 
you know, just in general, we didn't really need anything else. Um, super, like, I don't know, just don't really need it to, like, give each other, like, these big extravagant gifts because we have each other and, um, I'm not gonna get all sappy, but basically we kept it to a minimum <laughs> this year. And, but I did want to share something that he got me last year that I absolutely loved. And that is these North Face booties. Even though this was last year, so technically not this, you know, past Christmas, but I pulled these out the box and I'm like, what the heck are these moon shoes? and um when I put my feet in them I was like oh my god I wear these every day well in the winter time obviously they're so comfortable they match my like long puffer coat and I love these so North Face I think they're unisex and once some are low top these are I think like the mid top and I would I think these look cuter on the feet I saw the other ones in store but I love these they're, they may be ugly to someone, but I was like, I don't know what made him get those for me, but I'm so glad he did. I actually absolutely love those. Oh, so I forgot my mom did get me my annual Christmas pajamas. I haven't worn them yet. So these, I have the silk version from AJ last year. So I have now the pinstriped cotton version. So haven't worn them yet. I'm pretty sure I wear them later on this week and then um oh well so let's get into a birthday gift um from AJ's mom still on the clothing category and that is this beautiful Cynthia Riley it's actually a reversible sweater so this is the fuzzy side and then on the opposite side is just like a regular sweatshirt so and in this color it's like perfect so um this is what she got me for my birthday i'm like totally didn't have to get me anything for birthday and christmas so love this sweater goes perfect with you know my wardrobe and aesthetic and all that so i thought that was super nice as well as some where are these from deer foams cozy socks they even have little grips at the bottom so i love my cozy socks and then um my best friend's mom got me this beautiful blanket scarf it's pink with pearls by betsy johnson but she got it at the ross store so i'm pretty sure it was way more affordable but it's huge when i say it's a blanket scarf it's literally a blanket so I love having scarves like this in my lap when I'm like working or something like that so even if I'm not wearing it for fashion I will definitely wear it like around the house just to stay you know cozy um okay that is it for clothing items uh, another birthday item I got was this huge DW candle it is ocean Mm, sapphire and it's kind of like a masculine scent and she she had mentioned that to me this is from AJ's mom but I love masculine scents I love mahogany teakwood from Bath and Body Works like that's my jam uh flannel I love that scent so and then a beautiful card so um that was birthday and then okay let me grab the rest of my Christmas stuff <laughs> So this gift was super sentimental and I almost cried, <laughs> but it is a picture of my goddaughter and I one summer and we were kind of dressed alike. So we took this adorable picture, it wasn't planned, and her mom got this picture turned into a puzzle. How sweet is that? Like I can't, and one of them together is actually, um, <laughs> Her teeth that was already like stuck together when I opened the box but I was like this I, I love sentimental gifts I love to give sentimental gifts and receive them and this was so special I'll have this forever so 
that was my Christmas gift from my goddaughter and her mom. And then her mom also got me because they know me. So can you like simple, clean, like casual wear, lounge wear, pajamas. And then what's my next favorite thing? Bath care and skincare. So they know I love my baths. So I got this really beautiful set and I'm gonna be opening this up after I sanitize my bathroom and I'll be putting some of these items on my bath tray. So what's in it? We have uh, body butter, that's grapefruit and spearmint. A uh, bath sea salt little pouch, a candle, a bath bomb, some bath salts, a bath like, oh, it's a soak versus a bubble bath and a dry brush. So I will definitely be using this. And that's one of my things too with gift sets like that. Like I set them out and make sure I use them and use them like whenever, like instead of saving, I used to save these for like special occasions and then it'll be a year later and I still haven't used it. So I'm setting that out and I'm gonna make sure that I use it, even if it's on a random Wednesday night. So my best friend, Asia, I just love the way that she gives gifts because she gives small gifts, but they're like kind of luxury and very, uh, you just appreciate them so much. So she got me three of the uh, fresh items. Is that? Is that philosophy? So um, fresh by philosophy, two perfumes. I've already opened up the fresh cream. It's very vanilla y. It smells so good. Perfect for winter. I haven't opened this one. Let me quickly open it up so I can give you guys the scent. Um, but it's called Warm Cashmere. Ooh. So this one isn't clear, has a nice amber color. Okay, this has notes of vanilla too, but it's mm, warmer, where is the fresh cream? I'm, I'm like wearing this like right out of the shower. Let me spread this hand arm. Yeah, this one's, so fresh cream is a lot lighter, beautiful, daytime, fresh out of the shower. And then this one isn't ne necessarily a nighttime, but that warmness will make you feel like, okay, more of a nighttime, but very light. So I wouldn't say sexy, like date night, but just nighttime, a little bit more romantic versus daytime fresh and then it um she also gave me the fresh body lotion so these two pair together after a bath very very nice of course a hand lotion everybody needs a good hand lotion especially with all the hand sanitizer that we've been using so I appreciate that as well as I think she was shopping for herself but I'm happy that she um, thought of me and I have this beautiful artist couture uh, by aka Mac Daddy <laughs> on Instagram this is his line but this is the what's the shade eyeshadow pigment conceited <laughs> so it's a diet he calls it the diamond glow powder so this is a beautiful like shimmery gold champagne color and that's all you need a little bit of that on the eyes um I thought that was a super sweet and thoughtful gift and one thing that she's dropping off to me this weekend are the uh they're called facial globes so it's basically like a jade roller but it the part that you put on your face is actually like this little ball that rotates and it just kind of circles all over your face so she um just sent me a picture right before i start sat down to film this video saying that it had came in and that she would drop it off to me this weekend so you'll see that in a later video um but then the last thing like can you like I can't believe I've been talking for almost 25 minutes and um, all these things that I got like I don't expect gifts as much as I just love to like give gifts as I get older so just really am thankful for everyone for thinking of me and blessing me with such nice 
things. I love it. Um, so the last thing is from my parents for my birthday. They know I've been wanting this for a long time and that is a steam mop. <laughs> the things that you want when you're a, an adult. And y'all, when I, when they pull this out the trunk, I like, I jumped because I've been wanting one of these for a long time. So they got me the Bissell steam mop. I've heard great things about it and I will be putting this to use this weekend. So, and maybe you'll see it in a cleaning video, <laughs> but that is everything. I, like I said, feel so blessed and appreciative and thankful for my wonderful, beautiful family and friends and that was and I love everything that I got like literally everything I'm gonna put everything to use my candles my perfumes my clothes so anyway I have a list of everything that I got my family and friends and I'm gonna be inserting like pictures because obviously I've given them to them already so um except for what I got AJ uh you'll see that like in real life but Hopefully the pictures will do for now. And then, like I said, don't forget to go and check out my Like to Know It page and you'll see those items there as well. So the first thing, the AJ's bit gift, and that was something that I also bought for myself because he can't have one and then I not have one. And that is this Tao electric toothbrush that has a base that once you're done brushing your teeth, you flip it over and it has a UV light that cleans your toothbrush. Yes, it literally cleans your toothbrush and you don't have to worry about any germs flying on it or having to stick it in a drawer. I just thought that that was genius and shout out to Sam Oscarol. She does have a coupon code. Um, if you go to her YouTube page or you know follow her on Instagram, support her page and get that discount code because I was able to get both of those electric electric toothbrushes for half off so two for the price of one I have the white one he has the black one and we've been loving it we've been using it for almost a month now so um the next thing is for his mom she really liked my fitness watch from Amazon so I got her the black one that's the one she said I just want a black one so I got her that for Christmas now we dropped the ball a little bit on AJ's dad because we just really didn't know what to get him. He actually was really interested in these like electric heating gloves, but I wanted to make sure I got him something that was safe to wear. Um, some of them you have to put batteries in and I don't know, that just didn't seem safe to have so close to your skin. But he does have a birthday in February. And um, so what we did, AJ actually gifted him an Apple Watch that he wasn't using. So he has a pretty much a brand new Apple Watch. AJ only wore it for like a month and um, he's really excited about that. But then for his birthday, we plan on getting him this wine preserver. He actually has a wine cellar, he's a collector. And um, every wine collector, if you're a lover of wine, if you ever have like an expensive bottle that you know you're not gonna drink or you just wanna open it and have a glass for yourself and you don't have anyone to share it with. So there's this gadget called a wine preserver and they'll um, allow you to open up the wine, but the hole is so, so small that you can essentially, I think, close it back up, but you can preserve the rest of the wine for up until, um, for, for a month after opening. So I thought that was super cool. I think he's gonna love that and hopefully we can get that for him for his birthday. Um, for my mom, so something she's really been wanting because she's a runner, like, when I talk about runner, like she was around four marathons and a few halves. So she puts a lot of work on her treadmill. Um, so constantly using her feet <laughs> and she gets pedicures like religiously. Um, but, but with COVID and everything, she's been not trying to get pedicures as much. So I really got her this, um, I really got her, I got her this really nice pedicure massage tub. I found it on Amazon, but it's beautiful. When we took it out the box, it was aesthetically beautiful and it has all these different, you know, um, it's like digital and different massage functions. And she's so excited to use that. So I got her that as well as some silk face mask because mom is very into her skincare and all things of that nature so she has some nice silk hypoallergenic uh, face mask to wear 
And then for my dad, um, his birthday is also Christmas Eve. So we had to like get him both his birthday and Christmas gift, which were some really nice polo style. This is what he asked for <laughs> from Nordstrom, which were really, really nice. So if you have a man in your life who maybe just wants that nice sweater to put on for a Zoom meeting or call, um, that will also be on my like to know it page. And then for my best friend for Asia, I got her something that I just had recently got myself, which is the Flawless Skincare Fridge. And she was so excited when she opened that. I was so happy to see her happy because I was like, I can't remember if she had one or not, but she didn't. So super excited that I was able to get her one of those. And then I also got her the More Than Enough book by Elaine Welter, Welter Roth. Sorry if I'm butchering that last name, but she told me she was going to purchase that book too. So I was able to get her that. And then for um, her sister, her twin sister, which is my goddaughter's mom, I got her a beautiful tie-dye sweater. It's like an oversized, like that trendy, like I'm surprised I even got it. I think it was like, the only one left. So I got her that sweater as well as she loves cooking and she's been recently trying to cook more plant-based. So I got her the Sweet Potato Soul Vegan Cookbook by, uh, is it Jean or Jeannie? Claiborne. So that book looked really good. And I was like, when you make something, let me know. <laughs> um, and then for my goddaughter, I got her the animals uh, sheet mask. She loves to do a face mask. She sees her aunt, my best friend, do that all the time. Asia's really into skincare. So you know, she's imitating what she sees her aunt doing. And so I got her her own little face mask, which are just hydrating, doesn't have anything else, you know, going on. But so something that won't um, irritate her skin, they were like hydrating face masks, but they have little animals on them. So I got her that as well as what kid isn't obsessed with Jojo Siwa. So I got her one of those bath towels. And it has like a hood on it. So um, but it's like Jojo Siwa, like pictures and I don't know like her stars and whatever and logos and things that she has and then I also got her there was only one copy left at the uh, Barnes and Noble that I went to and that is Bunheads by Misty Copeland I was so I wanted to get her that book so bad um so I was very happy that it was in the store when I went to uh go get it and um I'm, that book is so special um you know um biracial African-American ballerina and I took ballet when I was her age and ballet was a super important part of my life when I was um my goddaughter's age so I thought that was really special I did put like a little handwritten note in there so hopefully as she gets older she can see what her godmom wrote for her but that's what I got my goddaughter and then last but not least for their mom I got them um I got her the Breville juicer so there was a really good sale at Kohl's for that and I couldn't think of what to really get her but I thought the gift of health would be really nice especially because I started gardening last year and they can take some of their cucumbers sorry my foot's closing. they can take some of their um cucumbers and fresh kale that they've been growing you know in the summertime obviously and juice as well as the ultimate book for modern juicing has over 200 recipes by Mimi Kirk so I thought that was like a nice gift to go together so I got them all books so the skincare fridge and the book the sweatshirt oh and some like moisturizing like those owl socks so got like a cozy gift with a book a cookbook and then their mom the uh juicer along with a recipe book so she can think you know I was thinking like if you ever get a juicer and like don't know like what to combine as far as like um vegetables and fruits I, I was like I gotta get her a recipe book so that you know when she wants to do something she has a recipe to follow and knows what would taste good with what so that is everything you guys if you're still here watching thank you all so much I know this was a long one that's why I asked if you guys really wanted to see this but um I love this video too because when I go back and watch this next year I get to remember all these special things and the people that gifted them to me and 
that's why I really like that first video that I did because when I go watch that I think it was from like 2016 when I go watch that I remember those gifts and those people and the memories that are associated with it that's like the most important thing to me so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you all enjoyed it and don't forget to go check out the Let's Know It page if you want to shop any of these things. Please subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Mwah. <laughs>